What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we're going to check out the all new OtterBox Drybox. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, test it out and give you guys my quick in-depth review. OtterBox is well known for their smartphone accessories, particularly their cases, but now they have moved on to a little bit of a different line of products, their outdoor accessories. In this video, we're going to check out the all new redesigned OtterBox Dry Box. So taking a closer look at the Dry Box here, this is basically a super beefed up waterproof box to protect the contents of the box. It features 55 cubic inches of space to fit most of your smaller items, ranging from everything like smartphones, point and shoot, compact cameras, your wallet, or anything that you want to fit in here to protect it from the elements. The dry box itself here is a tough polycarbonate construction and you can see from these sides here it's a pretty beefed up thick material. Now it's called a dry box for a reason, not only it can protect the contents of the box here from rain, sleet and snow, but it can also be submerged up to 90 feet for 30 minutes. The dry box does come in a few different colors, this one here is a tan slash beige color, also known as the Richline color, and it does retail for $39.99 off of Otterbox's website. So holding the lid in place are these two large polycarbonate clips held on by stainless steel rods or hinges both on the front here as well as the back so they don't rust. And moving on to the inside, the entire interior is lined with the soft foam material. This of course will help keep your contents from bashing against the polycarbonate wall so it does have a bit of shock absorption properties you could say. And of course you have the Autobox logo engraved on the top here and this uh, kind of cool mountain range engraving as well. Here's a quick example of putting some stuff in here. We have my wallet. Actually, we'll actually put my smartphone first. It's my iPhone 7 Plus and an Autobox Strata case. Fits nicely in there. Got my wallet as well. And here's a couple batteries for my DSLR, which may or may not fit all together. We're about to find out. Let's see. Oh wow, it does fit. It looks like I got about an inch of space left on the top of the wallet here. So I could put something else in here as well. And we can just lock it in place. And we're all set to go. So just to give you guys an idea of how tough the dry box actually is, let's put it in a commercial style dishwasher. Well, let's see how well it did. All right, we'll just dry it off and see what the paper's like inside. So the dishwasher does put water temperatures up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So if it survived that, then everything, wow. All the packaging and stuff is dry. So that's a good sign. So the paper's dry. I'm pretty sure a smartphone or whatever else you put in here, it's going to be dry as well. Overall guys, some initial impressions on the OtterBox dry box is pretty positive. It does what it does, protect the contents on the inside here from rain, sleet, snow, and a bit of draw protection as well. It's really a pretty good accessory to have for those of you who like to do a lot of outdoor activities such as canoeing, camping, or pretty much anything that you want to keep some of your stuff, whether it's papers, wallets, passports, your phone, uh, protected from the elements. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the dry box here, my only suggestion for OtterBox to maybe include a larger model for those of us who have larger items or just want to put more stuff in something like this. In conclusion guys, for those who are looking for a dry box for your outdoor needs, you definitely can't go wrong with the OtterBox dry box. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or comments about the OtterBox dry box, ask away in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you all in the next video.